Before we create a site, there are some basics that need to be covered first. In this chapter, we will cover the benefits of using CSS, different ways of planning the site, better understand web measurements and sizes, and using CSS starter pages. Let's begin. So let's talk about planning um, to begin with. First of all, we need to understand both our client and the audience that the client is trying to reach. We can do that in a multitude of ways. So let's first start by opening up a file. So go to File and Open. In our project files in our Chapter 2 folder, let's open up planning.html. Now this is one example of something that we might do planning a site design. This is a flowchart. It's just a very simple flowchart. I'm showing an index page and the pages that we have as our main navigation. What other URLs that we might need from those pages and if we needed other pages, any secondary pages from there. Another example is a wireframe. So if we open up File and Open in that same Chapter 2 folder, there's a file called wireframe.html. So once I have this open, because of my resolution at the moment, I don't see the whole entire page. So on the Mac, I'm going to choose Command and Minus twice, just so I can see a little bit more of the page. On the PC, it would be Control and Minus. So the page that we're looking at is just a really simple page. I did it in Fireworks, but it could really be done in a multitude of different programs. Balsamic, all sorts of different programs can do a wireframe. So really what the wireframe is meant to be is something so that the client can take a look at the page without being concerned with colors and fonts, etc. We're really just trying to get a match on between the client and us on what they need and where the placement of the items are on the page. So what we have for this particular page is just basically where the logo placement is going to be, where our search bar is going to be, where our navigation is. We're going to have a little bit of a slideshow in the middle and what text and what placement of that text is on the page. That way the client and ourselves can be basically in sync in what they need. We need to understand who the audience is, and that's part of our job to make sure that the accessibility and the usability of the page goes with what the client needs and with the audience needs both. 